Hey guys, this is Eliza from Dusk Angel Reads and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing the the bookshelf book tag. So first off, I'll just show you some footage just showing you my bookshelves as you can't see my other two as they are over behind the camera. You only ever see these two, but you never see the top except for when I used to film standing up when my tripod wasn't broken. I um, mean, you never see the bottom ones either. So yeah, I'll just do a little clip showing you those first. So over here I have my historical books, historical fiction, historical non-fiction, um, old murder mysteries like Agatha Christie. Over here I have my contemporaries. This one is empty, it just has junk in it. This one has books that I don't particularly like, as well as this pile here, which is what I sit my camera on to film, excluding this book, that's my TBR, but I needed an extra height. So yeah, those books are usually in here. All those are the books I'm unhauling. I currently have them up for sale on Facebook, so they're just sitting there in case they get sold. Then over here we have my second bookshelf. I have all my Fantastic Beast items up the top. These two are sci-fi. This one is like fantasies that I like but don't absolutely love. Same with these two bottom ones down here. Now over here we have my two other bookshelves. First I'll just talk about this big one. Okay, so I just moved that chair out of the road. So the top two shelves are my favourites shelves. Then we have two Harry Potter themed shelves. Fantasy that I enjoy but didn't quite make it on my favourites or they don't fit. And dystopian down at the bottom. Now these shelves over here, excluding this top Harry Potter shelf, the rest of these are all TBR books. I have three TBR shelves and then my power pack. And then right down the bottom is just excess crap, like the boxes for box sets, um, other books that I've had that aren't necessarily reading books. So yeah, but these are my main two bookshelves that you guys see all the time. And eventually I want to get all these bookshelves. Now onto the actual tag. Um, for some reason I've been able to find two different sets of questions under the same title. Um, the one I am doing is created by a wandering mind on YouTube. So hopefully these questions are the right ones. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. So the first question is, how many bookshelves do you have? I have four bookshelves. I have two cube shelves that are from Bunnings. I have this big over two meter bookshelf that is from Fantastic Furniture, which I'm pretty sure is only Australian. So is Bunnings, by the way. And then this one over here is actually an Ikea. I'm pretty sure this is a Billy bookshelf, but um, Ikea is ex extremely expensive in Australia and it is really hard to find them as like the lo next Ikea closest to where I live is like five hours away. So I got my boyfriend at the time to purchase this on his way home from Brisbane, but I can't get these. And also I like this one even more because it's bigger and it's like a dark brown rather than the black of these and the Bunnings ones. Okay, the next question is how many books do you have on your bookshelves? Now, just give me a second because I do actually have a full list of all the books that I physically own on a Google Doc. So let me just check that because that'll tell me how many is on my shelf. So I have 233 individual books, but that does not count for the books that I have multiple copies of. And there is, I do have a lot of multiple copies of my Harry Potter books. I have 11 Philosopher's Stone, 6 Chamber of Secrets, 2 Prison of Azkaban, and two Goblet of Fire, two Order of the Phoenix, two Half-Blood Prince, and one Deathly Hallows. I also have three copies of Quidditch Through, Quidditch Through the Ages, five copies of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, three copies of, copies of Tales of the Beetle of Bard. I have two copies of Obsidio. I have two of Caraval, three of Strange the Dreamer, three of The Hobbit, two of The Book Thief, two of The Darkest Minds, two of Neverfade, and two of In the Afterlife. So, over well, probably around 250 books when you add up all those excess. That does not, however, include my unhaul books that I have as you saw in the shelf, they're just stacked in down there. So that doesn't include that. So question three is how do you organize your books? Well, I have a couple different ways. First off, I have all my TBR books. I can't put my hand in the right direction. All my TBR books over here, it doesn't matter what genre they are, they're all in the one place and these are by color order. Obviously I have my separate Harry Potter shelves. I then also have my separate favorite shelves, which is up on the top of these ones, as you saw. Those ones are not by any genre. They are mostly fantasy, just because I generally enjoy fantasy the most, fantasy and sci-fi, but they're not necessarily in order. That's just the books that are my favorites. And then I, the rest of it is by genre. So down the bottom, as I said, I have my, I just knocked a Funko Pop over. Lucius just died. 
So yeah, down the bottom I have excess sci-fi and fantasy and then dystopians at the bottom. I have other sci-fi over in that one and then excess fantasy and then all my historical and mysteries are in the one place and then all my contemporaries. The next question is what is the oldest book on your bookshelf? Now I'm assuming this is the oldest book on my bookshelf but this is Taken at the Flood by Agatha Christie and this was a 49 edition I'm pretty sure. Yes, published in 49. So 1949. The next question is what is the newest book on your shelf? So the newest book by release date and also by the last one I put on my shelf is The Darkest Legacy by Alexander Bracken, book four in the Darkest Mind series. The longest book I have is Order of the Phoenix by Harry Potter. Uh, <laughs> what? Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by JK Rowling and this is 766 pages. I'm pretty sure this is the longest book I have. It looks the longest. So yeah, as it's a chunker of a book. Okay, the next question is what is the shortest book on your bookshelf? And I'm pretty sure it would be the Hogwarts Library books by JK Rowling. These are around 90 pages, I think. Actually no, this one's like 120. So it's either this or these, but I'm not sure how many pages these have as they don't have page numbers on them at all. Like, there's no page numbers at all, but these are very thin and they're Bazaar graphic novels, but I'm just not 100% sure what exactly, and I'm not going to sit here and count the pages. The next question is, what is the most predominant genre on your bookshelves? And of course, fantasy. Um, I have like a crap ton of fantasy books. The next question is, have you done a bookshelf tour? And no, I haven't yet, but I do plan to, but there's a couple more books that I want to unhaul and I want to figure out a way that I can fit my mystery historicals somewhere else because those cube bookshelves look cool but they're honestly horrible because you don't have enough space this way and there is a crap ton of space width ways you could fit like two and a half books in front of each other so I want to find out figure out a way to possibly do something with them but yeah at the moment no, I have not done a bookshelf tour. Okay, the next question is go to a random number generator and talk about the book that corresponds with that number. So I'll put in 1 to 250, I guess. I hope um, that it isn't like a really long number and I'm going to have to sit here and count. Okay, the number I got is 137. So I'll be back and I'll start up at this one, I think, and then go down and then go to this one because... I know, it just feels right because this one's been here longer, but I'll be back. Okay, so book number 37 on my shelf is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the Ravenclaw house edition. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to have to say about this. I love the Harry Potter series, so of course I've got the um, new 20th anniversary editions. I haven't quite completed my Chamber of Secrets set yet, but at Big W they have these for like 10 or 11 bucks so when I was there I was like uh, not Big W Kmart when I was there I was like yes thank you because they're only like a couple dollars cheaper but on book depository they're like 13 but on Kmart they were like 11 so I'm gonna take the discount so and I also really love this cover art and I love these colors the bronzy gold and the blue just looks stunning together the next question is, do you have merch or any other decorations on your bookshelf? Um, hi, yes, yes I do. Um, I have everything from candles to bookmarks to Funkos to wands. Um, what else have I got on here? Other random stuff that I got in subscription boxes. A lot of it's Harry Potter themed. Um, I also have these little potion bottles. Wait, I just, I just knocked over a Grindelow. Uh, a Grindelo? That's not a Grindelo. I also have these little potion bottles that have got actual liquid in them that I made a few years back. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on my bookshelves, especially the Harry Potter ones. Okay, the next question is show us your bookshelves. So I did that at the start, so I don't think I need to do that again. Let me know in the comments how you organize your bookshelves, as I'm always really interested to see how other people organize them. Um, I used to organize just by genre and then I decided I needed a favourite shelf because I wanted this as the background of my YouTube videos but then my tripod broke so now I'm down here. So yeah that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did make sure you give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.